Text-based adventures and visual novels are sometimes an underexplored genre in the gaming industry by mainstream audiences. But don't let that fool you. The dating simulators that exist within these forums can be wildly popular and immensely enjoyable to play, mainly due to the emphasis on good storytelling. But Sometimes, though, dating sims can branch out into some strange territory that goes beyond the typical dating story. And we're not talking about the ones that subvert dating sim expectations, like Dream Daddy or Katawa Shouju, or even the parody ones featuring the likes of Nicolas Cage. No, we're talking about the really weird niche ones from Japan that allow you to court animals, dinosaurs, orcs, and even disembodied heads. Welcome to our list of the top 10 weirdest Japanese dating sims. And yes, one of these really does involve dating a disembodied head. Unst stuff. In at number 10, Hatoful Boyfriend. Starting off this list is a game we've talked a bit about on this channel so far, Hatoful Boyfriend, aka the Pigeon Dating Simulator. Hatoful Boyfriend goes beyond just being an absurdly silly concept. Initially, the Pigeon Dating Sim started off as an April Fool's Day joke, but due to creator Hato Mao's writing, the game gained popularity from social media, and critics started to note its emotional depth and good sense of humor. To top it all off, it takes place in a world where humans were wiped out by the bird flu and are now the subordinate species. There's also bird puns though, so yay! And at number 9, Eiyu Senki. Date female versions of notable historical figures? Da Vinci? Yep, now a lady. Napoleon? Totally a chick. Caesar? Yeah, yeah, you get it by now. The thing is, this game is more of a conquest strategy game, and is pitched as a game in which you battle cute world leaders that you eventually hook up with later. And at number 8, Meatlog Mountain. In Meatlog Mountain, you play a doctor named Thaddeus Cub, who sets up camp on Meatlog Mountain, a remote lumberjacking town where only huge males live, of many races including orc, human, dwarf, and demon. So of course, you're there to seduce your patients. Or three specific ones, rather. A human named Harry, an orc named Dirk, and a demon aptly named Demonos. Or as Thaddeus likes to call them, hot massive muscle-bound daddies. And at number 7, Tomac Save the Earth Love Story. Nothing says love quite like growing a woman's decapitated head in a pot and trying to woo it. Yes, that's correct, this dating sim is about romancing a head in a flower pot. Tomac Save the Earth Love Story is described as a raising simulation mixed with a dating game, where you, the player, take care of the goddess of love, who just so happens to be a head growing out of a flower pot. Up next number 6, Love Love Chow. Any fans of the film Pacific Rim will definitely get a kick out of this one. You play as Hannibal Chow, the black market organ dealer, aka Ron Perlman, and your goal is to romance one of the members of the male cast of the film. Idris Elba anybody? It's nice too, considering most dating sims or visual novel games that feature celebrities tend to hinge on a singular joke, the fact that the celebrity is in a dating sim, and tend to lack depth, which is something Love Love Chow actually exceeds in, despite having a short amount of gameplay. Up next, number 5, Creature to Koi Shio, Kanoko Kokoro. This one is a dating simulator for wooing humanoid cricket creatures. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, uh, look at that! Just just leave you with that. And at number 4, Jurassic Heart. From crickets to dinosaurs, Jurassic Heart is all about courting, or getting courted by, T Rexes. Get it? Because. Jurassic Park, Jurassic Heart. <laughs> the whole premise of it is that you accidentally break this musical T Rex's ukulele, and you offer to go to the music store to get it replaced with him. And it then turns into a sweet little story about bonding when you two head on over to the park and start playing music. And it's mixed in with what are arguably some weird sexual euphemisms, but hey, it's the T Rex, so this one's for all you dinosaur lovers. You do you. In at number three, Paca Plus. My girlfriend is an alpaca. Ever wanted to know what it would be like if your girlfriend turned to an alpaca? Alpaca, but still wanted to date you since she still had all of her memories and feelings for you? Well, fear not, because this dating simulator is exactly that. And it's a pretty long one too, so get your alpaca on. Up next, number two, Brother Falls in Love. Most people hate printers. They're a vile technology that never quite seems to work right when you really need it. So naturally, that aggressive dynamic translates beautifully into a dating simulator, right? Yeah, love to hate it. It's a, it's a printer dating sim. Your goal is to date the new guy in school who just so happens to be a printer who is named Bra Man, whose favorite ink is magenta. He also likes playing football, which makes perfect sense, don't question it whatsoever. And the English version of the game's translations are painfully incorrect, which actually makes it all the more humorous. And finally, in at number one, Uma no Prince Sama, aka My Horse Prince. Your love interest in this one is a horse who has a man's face, but isn't a centaur. He's just a horse with a with a dude's head. Yeah, that's essentially what you get with Uma no Prince Sama. Women like princes and horses. 
horses, right? Just smash them together and we'll make a ton of money. Which is how I imagine the thought process behind this game went down. This particular dude head belongs to an attractive prince with flowing locks of hair. And you play a young woman trying to court him by reaching out to his horse sensitivities. And no, this is nothing like Bojack Horseman. Is this that thing you see in movies? So, gulp. Will you be my owner? So how do you win over his heart? Well, you feed him carrots. The beauty of the sim is that you get a whole lot more animation out of it than your regular text-based dating sim or visual novel. So if you really want to date a horse with a dude guy's prince face on it, well, at least you get a show out of it. Look at it go with those carrots. There we have it, friends. That was a thing, wasn't it? Fun. Which of these dating simulators have you guys played before? Which ones are you gonna go now try? Let us know in those comments below. If hooking up with a horse prince or a pigeon isn't really your thing, why not check out one of our other videos from our recent uploads playlist instead. And hey, if you dug this video, do us a solid and hit those like and subscribe buttons and share the love. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. I'll catch you all in the next one.